Some of you think that you can just go to university and learn your calling. Let me tell you something. That's not what it is, guys. Your calling is in your DNA. Your calling is in your character, guys. Your calling is in is in who you are. Sometimes when we live in this society that we're living in, we can be programmed and we can think some of the things that we want to do actually came from us, guys. But let me tell you now, it ain't. You know? And some of you want to go out there and do the things or you want to do or learn something because it's very popular or it's a preferred profession at this time. It's like saying long time ago, guys, the preachers or the, the priests were in demand. And then the singers. But nowadays, it's like the business guys, guys. You understand what I'm saying? But your calling is something that is in you. Something is only you that can do, guys. You know what I'm saying? The sooner you answer this call, the better it is. Especially for yourself, my chosen one. Hello, beautiful people of the world. This is Alula, and welcome to Awaken the Ego Within. Like this video and subscribe for more videos like this, guys. The chosen ones must answer the call. Must answer the purpose that is on their life, guys. You understand what I'm saying? Some of you are getting ready to do things that you think is in your purpose. And then all of a sudden, you're going to be met by the Spirit. The Spirit telling you, no, we've got a different plan for you guys. All of a sudden, you lose interest in the things that you wanted to do for a very long time. That's been my case, guys. I thought I wanted to be a businessman. You know, and then I was, I was, I was getting ready to start that business. I was met by disturbance, which is the dark night of the soul, guys. But some of you, you will actually begin to do the things that you want to do. And then the things that you do will not go according to plan, guys. That is because the spirits of the gods have a different plan for your life, guys. You're the chosen one. You understand what I'm saying? You are the chosen one. That is why other things that you would thought that were you calling are not going according to plan, guys. That is because the spirits have even bigger, bigger purpose than the one for you, uh, you have for yourself. Now, this is very important for you to be answering this phone call, guys. To be answering. After all, guys, this is the reason why you're here. This is the reason why you've been sent here, guys. So if you ask me, <laughs> I'll tell you that it's very important. So what is the reason for the chosen one for? He must answer this phone call. Guys, your first thing first, your purpose is your ascension. You understand what I'm saying? Now, according to my belief system, guys, that we can only ascend through knowledge through knowledge of self most importantly guys and then the second way to ascend guys is to complete your purpose once you come here do what you gotta do and then do it well guys and then you can ascend to other dimensions but you don't if you don't fulfill your mission if you don't fulfill your calling if you don't get to do the, the reason why you've been sent here, guys, you're going to come back here time and time again until you get that right. The chosen ones are not from this planet, guys. We are from elsewhere. We're from a different, different planet. And then we've been sent here to help in awakening or in, you know, something, guys. So your purpose is the way you ascend, my chosen one. 
is the, the way you are sent to the next dimension. That is why it's a must. You must answer this call that is on your life, guys. The chosen one must be on his purpose or answer his calling that is on his life because somebody else needs what the chosen one is carrying, guys. The thing about this universe, guys, is that we are connected together in some way. We are one, guys. You understand what I'm saying? Now, somewhere, uh, not someone somewhere needs the things that you carry, guys. Meaning that that person cannot move or cannot complete the thing he's got to do without you. Without you doing what you're calling is. That is another reason why the chosen one must answer his calling, guys. This is critical. This is just more than you. Other people need the things that you're carrying. The other people need your gift. And now some of you are the chosen one. You have many different, different, different gifts, guys. Now, if you don't go and then fulfill this calling that is on your life, then other people will also miss out. Other people will not begin to do the things they need to do to ascend because you yourself, you have not gone to be on your purpose, guys. This is just not about you anymore, my chosen one. <laughs> this also has to do with other people. There is a message maybe that somebody needs to hear from you in order to feel like themselves. You understand what I'm saying? There is something that um, the chosen one has that other people need in order for them to begin doing what they're being called for guys so that is another reason why the chosen one must be answering the call that is on his life the thing about not answering the call or not being on your purpose guys is that when you're not on your purpose it will lead to suffering really man i'm experiencing from experience let me tell you something guys most of the things that we want and we need in life are not what we think. Let me tell you. You understand what I'm saying? There's nothing that feels right more than being on your purpose. Let me tell you, man. Some of you got money. Some of you are in marriages that is good. Some of you are in the, jo in the jobs that is going well. But the thing is that you don't feel fulfilled. Guys, now the reason why this happens is because you're not on your purpose. No matter what you do, as long as you're not fulfilling your purpose, guys, you will never be free. You will never be happy. You're always going to feel like something is missing, guys. It's like taking a fish out of the sea. Now, if you take a fish out of the sea and then put it in some little water, then that fish might survive still, but it will not be the same as, as if it's in the sea, guys. You understand what I'm saying? Another reason why I share that story is because your calling is like that sea. That's where you belong, guys. No matter what you do, no matter who you're married to, no matter how much money you have, no matter where you live, guys, as long as you're not on your purpose, there's always going to be something missing. And this will add to your suffering, guys. This is the reason why the chosen one must answer the call. It's like you could have a million dollars, but it's still, it doesn't feel sweet, guys. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Like, you don't feel like you're complete. Because you're missing an important component, which is the whole very reason why you've been sent here, which is your calling, guys. Let me give you a hint. One of the ways of knowing that you discovered your purpose, guys, is that you've, man, you feel like you are really into your calling. You feel good internally. You feel like you are fulfilling your mission, guys. 
That is because when you're on your purpose, guys, you are. Now, lastly, guys, the reason why the chosen one must answer his calling is his calling is his prosperity, guys. This is what will make you prosper. Your prosperity, your well-being, guys, everything that you are is in your purpose. Let me tell you. Some of you are gone, you know, walking out here, living the life that is less than what you deserve. That is because you have not answered the call, guys. Once you answer your call, the prosperity will come, guys. The abundance will come. The health will come. The peace will come, guys. Because everything is tied to your purpose. Because your purpose is something that you can only do with ease that nobody else can do. Something that you're made for. Something that you're really good at, guys. When you answer this call, you surrender to your calling. There's your, there's your prosperity, guys. There's your wealth. There is you finally living the life that you deserve. Don't think to be spiritual to be poor, guys. The spirit want abundance for your life, guys. You're the chosen one. That is the reason why you're chosen. You, you carry a message, but also you've been sent here in order for you to live your best life. But let me tell you now, there's no best life without fulfilling your calling, guys. There's no best life without being on your purpose. So my chosen one, do yourself a favor and be on your purpose. Do yourself a favor and begin to do the things that you're doing. Because if you don't, you're going to be living less and less of who you really are, guys. What do you think? You see certain people that are so abundant in this life and then you see other people that are not. That is because those ones who are abundant are living according to the will of the Father, guys. They are in their purpose. And once you're in the purpose, guys, there's nothing beautiful, let me tell you. Because it doesn't feel like a job. And time just flies when you are doing this thing, guys. And then you're going to begin to feel healthy, feel good, and really feel good about your life because you are fulfilling your calling, guys. This is an important point, by the way. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Important reasons why this chosen one has got to be on the purpose. Your purpose is the most important thing, guys. All right, like this video, subscribe to this channel. Until the next video, God bless you and take care. Bye-bye. See you. All right, guys. What is your purpose? What are you made for? What message are you carrying that other people need, guys? It's important for you to discover this because other people need it. All right, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.